<laughs> How was the intro music? <laughs> I've been in touch with my inner redneck. <laughs> G'day folks, today I'm going to teach you how to blow the Apex Fox Whistle. I'm going to teach you how easy it is to blow. Just lately I've been doing a bit of fox shooting. As I do this time every year, I like fox hunting in late summer and, and during the autumn months. Already I've had quite a few people message me and ask me how to blow the fox whistle. I've had people tell me that they've bought one and they don't know how to blow it. And I've also had a lot of wonderful messages from people telling me how much fun they're having with theirs, which is great. Let me show you how easy it is to blow the fox whistle. The Apex fox whistle. There it is there. That's a folded design with a little bit of a trumpet sort of a holders to help echo the noise. I'm guessing that a lot of people are doing this. And they can't get the noise out. I'm going to teach you three steps to get the most out of your Apex Fox Whistle. The first step is to do what I've just done. Put it in your mouth and blow. The second and most important step is to push your tongue out against the back of the fox whistle. And also make sure the Apex logo, the little picture of the fox, where it says Apex and it's got the fox on it, make sure that is facing up because it doesn't work very well upside down. It's actually designed specifically to be facing up that way. So make sure the logo is up. Put it in your mouth and blow, but push the tongue, your tongue against the back. Like that. If I blow it without my tongue, that's all I get. By simply pushing my tongue against the back, instant change. And the third step is to manoeuvre it around your mouth because when you move it around, this fox whistle has just no end to the amount of different pitches it has. And when I say pitches, I'm not talking about Picasso's Weeping Woman or Michelangelo's Glass Supper. I'm talking about pitches as in high pitch, low pitch, different levels of squeakiness. What a better word. And you get that by just fiddling around with it once you've learned how to blow it. So you put it in your mouth, to put it in your mouth with the sign facing up, put your tongue on the back. That is the critical step. That has to happen if it doesn't work. If you haven't got a tongue, I suggest you go and buy one of those squawkers that you can use with your hands. But most people have got tongues. Now, to get different pitches and different tones, there are a number of things you can do. You can actually squeeze it up and down. Or you can move it around your mouth. For me personally, with the way my mouth is shaped, I find that just by putting my tongue against it, pushing down and resting that on my top back teeth seems to give me the pitch that I prefer the most. If I lift it up, it gives me a bit more of a deeper pitch. But getting the different sounds at different pitches is all about manoeuvring around in your mouth and just coming up with finding a spot where you like it and how you like it to sound. But the biggest hurdle that most people have is the tongue. You don't put it on the bottom, you don't put it on the top, you rest it flat up against the back and you push on it. You actually push your tongue on it like that. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid, Put a bit of Vegemite or something, <laughs> put a bit of honey, like a child's dummy. <laughs> or if it's me, you might want to put a little bit of uh, scotch or something on the back of it. <laughs> Pretty close to the freeway here, I've got to be careful I don't whistle in a B-double. But seriously folks, put it in your mouth and blow, put your tongue on the back, and then wiggle it to how you want it. Simple as that. 